right. Here we go, friends. So today we are going to do our three-part drill, and then we are going to work on, um, we're going to read our range full one time through. Um, and then we are going to, or no, before the read the range school, we're going to do a dictation, quick dictation. And then we'll get to, hey, Ben, I'm talking. Ben, this is my job, not yours. Thank you. And then you're going to have a chance to listen to Rain School or, write, or read Rain School once, and then we're going to get some Amplify done so that everybody has their hours worth. Oh, well, assume that you, every time you bring your computer for us, we'll probably be doing Amplify. Might be doing something else, so yeah, you'll need that. You can just run in and grab it, though. It'll probably be fine. Yes, her name. Yes, when we, when we, everybody's read, when everybody's practicing theirs, you're going to do Naz reads. Yes. Well, yes. Very good. Good thinking. Yes. Sawyer, go ahead and close that. You don't need that right now. That's for that's for later. That's for later. No, all the way because you're not even going to need it for a while. In fact, put it underneath your desk for me. Okay. So. Abby, don't worry about you. Don't worry about her. We're just going to focus on you. Okay. Are you ready, Mr. Sawyer? So what sound does this make, everybody? Ooh, nice. Ooh, or make both sounds for me. Wah. Wah. Ah. Ah. Which one's that one? There you go. Mm. Oh, let's try that one again. Uh, she's just going to have to wait because she isn't part of our group. All right, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Oh, what's this one? Oh, Jeff. 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 Sometimes it makes a taste down, but we're going to focus on the death. Rough. Yeah. Ah. 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 You only need to make it once. Eh. 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 Mmm. 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 Very good. Uh, oh, uh, uh. All right. Oops. What? Yeah. Yeah. Eh. What's eh? What's the symbol for eh? Good job, Sharnay. Eh. Eh. Mm. All right. Very nice job. All right. We're gonna hand out our fan. Do you have whatever you're using? Awesome. And Char Charlie's ready. Wherever he is. I'm going to draw in the sand.
Yeah. Oh, perfect. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I hope you guys can hear the sounds, okay? So the sound is V. V says V. Yeah. V says V. Did everybody make that D correctly? Let's make sure. The dumb and the six, right? Make sure you made that D correctly. All right. S says, very nice. All right. S H says, nice. And I gotta make sure I have more sand there. Here we go. Um, mm. M says, mmm. All right, go ahead and divide your. Okay, so we split our screen and the sound is K. No, it is. He says K. And K says. We knew it. Knew it. Oh, all right. Um, let's see. Um, A. A says A. G says G. Where did you? Everybody check your line. Yeah. Is that where your line was? All right, good job. All right, qua. You, you says qua. Now, why did I not put both letters? Why do you think, Sunny? They're always together. So you needed your Q and your U together. Very good. All right, if. I says if. There we go. Awesome. All right. Um, uh, try, sorry, my brain just went completely. Ah. O says ah. Very good. Um, all right. So just try. R. R says R. Go ahead and switch your sand. W. W says W. W H says W. Mr. Harrison. Nope, nope, I'm not on. All right. Yeah. I'm on the Zoom. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Yeah. No. Okay. No worries. Do we know that it's somebody from my class there? Oh, all right. Perfect. Thank you, guys. All right, miss yourself. All right, one more. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one more before the phone rings again. All right, you never know. Hey, it's Friday for sure. All right. Ta. He says, ta. All right, are we good? Are we good? All right, here we go. All right, go ahead and put that nice and neatly back into your bag. All right, please make sure your name is at the top. It's easier that way. Um, just put it to the side. I'll come get it when we're doing something else. All right. So I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, so I think I'm going to skip blending if we have time. But later we'll do the blending. But I really would like um, to get to the dictation part first. So, Miss um, Astria and Mr. Charlie, if you want to do this just on a regular piece of paper, um, that and then take a picture of it for me, that would be great because I need to grade it. All right. So, um, these are the things you're going to need. I'm going to put it under the dot camera. Oh, that's the answers. Oops. Don't copy the answers. 
I'll come, no, Abby, I'll come, I'll come get it. So these are what you're gonna need. Ms. Astria, you're gonna need six words. We don't have any red words this week, but that's where the red words go. And two sentences. So we're gonna go with that. So I'm gonna pass these out. You are gonna turn them in. I'll, I'll walk you through how to do the first one. And I'm gonna go back to how you can do the things we have left. This one is in the gray, right? and then I'll grade it, okay? All right, so Mrs. Harrison needs her paper that she just put away. All right, there we go. All right, so you've got your name, today's date. Please put today's date on it. November 6th, November 6th, for NOV, and then 6th, for 11, 6th, that's fine too. So, Sawyer, it's right at the top of my board. November, nope, look at the board. See where it says November? There you go. Or you could, or you, yep. Or 11, 6, 20, yep, works fine too. All right. Charlie, can you hear me okay for the words? Okay, and Ms. Astri already gave me a thumbs up, so she's good. All right, so I will say the word as many times as you need it. I will give you a sentence if it's a real word, which all of these are today because all of these are um, compound words because we talked about compound words. So they're all two syllables. So remember, when I say the word, I'm going to, I'm going to say the word and then I'm, I'm, I'm going to pound the syllables. You're going to say the word and pound the syllables. Then in your head and in your fingers, you're going to sound out each syllable and put them together. So let's do the first one together. The first one is cannot. So we're going to say cannot. Let's do that together. Cannot. And then you're going to sound out. Watch what I'm doing with my fingers. Cannot. So here, how many sounds there are there? Okay. So go ahead and write. So tap it out to yourself. Cannot. 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 Not, n, a, t. Make sure you have all of those sounds, all of those letters. This is your best, this is what I'm gonna grade. Mr. Charlie, we should probably not have that in your mouth, my friend. Thank you. Let's keep our safe, our, our germs safe, right? Because you don't know, that pencil might have gotten laid someplace and I don't want you to get sick. All right, my friends at home, are you good? You ready for the next one? Charlie, are you ready for the next one? Yeah, okay. So second one, ready? Cat nap. Cat nap. I took a cat nap after school. Cat nap. It means a short nap. Cat nap. So sound it out. Cat nap. Cat nap. Cat nap. That's number two. Cat nap. I took a cat nap after school. Okay, this is, guys, this is a way for me to see what you know. So that's why we're not saying things out loud and that you're doing it independently, all right? Because this helps me understand what we need to review. Number three, if Astria and Charlie are ready. Cannot. Cannot. Where's number one? Okay. It's okay, then I'll know how to grade it. It's okay. 
Number three. Are you ready? So I'm ready for your pounding. You ready? Humbug. Humbug. So sound it out. Huh? Uh. Mm. Bug. B. Uh. G. Humbug. When I realized I wasn't going to get the present I wanted, I said, oh, humbug. Humbug. Sound it out. Huh? Is number uh, three humbug? Humbug. Is number three humbug? Yes, it is. Very good. Humbug. Cat now. So number two. Oh, so you're not spelling out loud, Finn. It's got to be over your nose, buddy. Got to stay over your nose for everyone to be safe for you and everybody else. All right. So they're both two syllables, two closed syllables. I'll give you a hint there. All right. Are we ready for number four? Are my friends at home? I think Charlie's still working, so we'll let him finish. You ready? Okay. Number four. Up shot. Up shot. Yes, so you should know how to spell it, right, Mr. Sword? Up shot. Um, the upshot of getting here early is you get all of your work done. Up shot. Um, it means the, the, the good thing about that. All right, well, think about what the word is. Upshot. 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 What does it mean? I, I just told you. So listen, sorry, listen, all right? So think about the sentence. The upshot of being here early is that you get all of your things done. So it means the good thing about, uh, the lucky thing about. There you go. Number five, are we ready? Yeah. Number five, Charlie, are you ready, buddy? Charlie's frozen. I hope he's ready. Number five, within, within. I got my test done within 15 minutes, within. So think about all your sounds, within, within. That means I got it done. Uh, I got it done inside that like amount of time, right? Within. When they go somewhere and they have the sitting, they have the Yeah. All right. Number six. Tablets. Tablets. Pound it with me. Tablets. I know many of you like to play on your tablets at home. Yes. Tablets. But we're not having a, it's not a conversation, my friends. We're not spouting our thoughts. We're writing our word and sounding each part out, okay? Make sure you're hearing each sound. Tablets. I know that many of you like to play on your tablet at home. Tablet. If you don't have one, that's fine. I'm just, just a sentence. It's not meant for each of you to agree with or disagree with. So, uh, Turning. Tablet. Tat ab let. O at tablet. Tablet. So tablet. 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 All right. Well, do you know how to? It, so it's. So listen, I'll do it one more time. Ready, Sermay? Tablet. O at tablet. All right. So skip the red words, cross them out. We're not doing red words today, but we are doing two sentences. So I don't have cups written here, but what should you write on the edge? You should write cups right next to your, let's do that right now. C U P S and do it twice. They have two sentences. Write your cups twice because you're going to do once for the first sentence. So I 
have to grade this whole sentence as how many things inside it I expect of you. So do I expect a capital? Yes. Yes, so that counts as a point. Do I expect an end mark? Yes. Do I expect all the words to be spelled correctly? Yes. Yes, so there's a lot of points in here, aren't there? All right, so number one, are you ready? Here's our sentence. All right, I will read it as many times as you need, all right? But I'm gonna pound it out. So I want you to listen, and I want everybody to put your pencil down first. Because as soon as I start, you guys start in the first word. I want you to hear the whole sentence, okay? Thank you. Here we go. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. Let's do it together. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. The what? Shed. I will give you a hint. Cash box is one word. It is, it is what, what have we been working on this week? Compound, I will repeat it. Cash box though is a compound word, okay? Here we go. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. The thug got the cash box, that's one word, that was in the shed. Well, then write it around the side a little bit. It is a little, it's a small line, you're right, you gotta kind of adjust your writing, huh? The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. Nope. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. You should be doing your cups. If you think you're done, you're doing your cups. Yes, it does. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. I can't say it again. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. So sound it out. Sound it out, Abby. Use your, like, just pretend I've got all those cards up here, right? Think about what those sounds are. Here we go. One more time, looking double checking. The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. Did you double check? Did you cut? The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. Cash box is a compound word. So what does that tell you? It needs to be one word. That's fine. That works. Thank you, Sawyer. This is Tori. Yeah, you have asked Mrs. Aubin's um, thing. Okay, can you call Nancy? Because I oh and. I know I can't, I can't, yeah, and I can't do that either because I'm on a totally different Zoom right now. Yeah, I'm in a totally different Zoom. No, 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 I'm sorry. All right, thanks, bye. Okay, here we go. Are we, is, give me a thumbs up if everybody's done with sentence number one. Astria, how's you, how you doing? Do you want me to wait or do you, you're good? Okay, all right. Cooper done? Gabe done? Josh working on it? Okay. Miss Bird done? Ben, I need your mask on, bud. All right. I can't, I really have to keep it on, okay? I want you to stay safe. Are you finished with your sentence? Excellent. Mr. Renee is ready. Mr. Charlie, I have no idea what's going on there, buddy. Are you okay? Are you done? I haven't done sentence number two. Are you done with sentence number one? Did you do your cups? 
Excellent. Abby, how are you feeling about number one? Are you done? And Sawyer, are you ready? Okay, number two. Are, 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 are you not done? The thug got the cash box that was in the shed. Wait, who keeps the cash box in the shed? Oh, I don't know. That's not a very smart thing, is it? <laughs> it's just so you know, I don't make these sentences up. <laughs> they just happen. So the thug got a cash box. That's where you put your money in the shed. That's yeah, built yeah. out. Miss Bird, that is not your job. All right, Cerne, you ready for number two? All right. Thug, um, in this case, it's being used as a person who um, isn't following the directions and is being naughty. All right. All right, we're good. we're almost ready for number two. Or wait, wait, good job, Josh. I like how you're doing a tough, perfect job. But nope, we're not talking. Hey guys, it's a test. Are you supposed to talk during tests? No. All right, number two. The good thing is this one is short. All right, here we go. So put your pencils down. I don't want you writing yet. Ready? The den is dim at sunset. Listen to it again. The den is dim at sunset. The den, the room that might be in your house or someone else's, is dim at sunset. There is a compound word in there, isn't there? We've been working on compound words all week. Sunset. Yes. The den is dim at sunset. So, so Eric, you just have to write it. I can't say it out loud. Because everybody, nope, nope, nope. Everybody's got to, this is a test. So we have to see if they know how to do it too. Okay? The den is dim at sunset. Sound it out. Go through your cups. Make sure that you have your capital. Make sure you have your um, understanding. Reread your sentence and make sure it matches mine. P for punctuation and S for spelling. The den is dim at sunset. Give me a thumbs up when you're done. Make sure you do all your cups. The den is dim at sunset. The den, the room, is dim, in other words, dark, at sunset. Okay. Like a cave, it could be, it could be like when a bear den is a cave. And Astria's ready, Mr. Max, you good? Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you're done. There you go, okay, be good. Okay, Miss Evie, you still working? No, nope, you're done? I'm just creating a very own three sentence. Okay, third sentence, all right. Everybody done? All right, so in a minute, I'm gonna come and collect those. I'll also get your um, stand. What you need to do is you need to read so Miss Astria, you're gonna to need to use the uh, assignment to get rain school. So, oh, oh, listen to the directions first. You're gonna read through rain school once using your best fluent reading. And then we're gonna work on amplify reading. So Miss Astria, did you work on amplify yesterday? Cause I don't know that I have any minutes. Uh, I, I don't know that I had enough minutes for you. Did you go on amplify reading after you finished rain school? Are you trying to think? Do you remember? Okay, so today I need you to do Amplify, okay? I need you to go on there. Do you remember how to get there? You should have a, do you have it bookmarked? Okay. All right, so what we're going to do today is you're going to read your book. So, Miss Serena, you're going to read your Nazarene, okay? You're going to read it through once using your best fluid reading, right? 
And then we're going to go ahead and use our, um, then we're going to go ahead and do Amplify Reading. Yes, Cooper. Yep, QR code. Yep, you bet. Yes, you may. All right, so Ms. Sashia, can you take a picture of your, can you take a picture of that test you just took? And set and add it, just upload it to this assignment. All right, and then I'll grade it. All right, okay. So um, go, go read Rain School and then do some Amplify. All right, but mwah, do your math. Okay, you're missing math. Yeah.